It's Tuesday, the 13th of July. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony, and it's great to be back live and in person. Uh, for those that weren't here, uh, I had to pre-record yesterday's show as I'm off, off to see a first-of-its-kind uh, new machine here in the UK. Uh, I'll be telling you more about that very, very shortly. Um, yesterday's show was actually recorded on Sunday afternoon, so uh, this is my first opportunity to offer my commiserations to the England football team and my congratulations to the Italians. As an England fan, I'm obviously disappointed, but as a football fan, I'm happy in the knowledge that the tournament's best team actually lifted the trophy. We will get to the news headlines in just a second, but first, let's take a peek behind the door marked celebrity birthdays to see which of them we'll be celebrating today. And given that my name is Mark Anthony, I probably have to mention the fact that today marks the birthday of none other than Julius Caesar. My old sparring partner, Julius, was stabbed in the back by those closest to him. And I think we all know how that feels. Uh, happy birthday also to actor Harrison Ford and to potato face journalist Ian Hislop. And a bizarre happy double birthday to actor Patrick Stewart, uh, Patrick Stewart sorry, who shares his birthday with Jean-Luc Picard, the character he played on Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, today also marks the eighth anniversary of the day. Uh, I lost my best friend in a motorcycle accident. Uh, Bruce and I attended primary school and high school together. Uh, we worked together on occasions as well. He was there for the birth of all of my four children, and I'm pretty sure he lived in every house I've ever owned uh, at one time or another. So my thoughts today are with his mum and dad, Pam and Jim, uh, and most of all with his three daughters, Alana, Holly and Brittany. And my thoughts uh, today are, as they are on most days, with Bruce Stewart Campbell, an absolute one of a kind. So yes, my absence. Uh, I must admit, uh, having now produced 99 of these shows on the trot, it did feel slightly odd to wake up yesterday and to not sit in front of a camera. But I did have a very good reason. Back in 2019, around October time, if memory serves me correctly, um, our sister publication, Diggers and Dozers, was among a hand-picked group of titles invited to Germany to see the prototype of a new machine, the TA-230 articulated dump truck from Liebherr. As you would expect, the new machine was impressive and it bore all the quality trademarks we've come to expect from Liebherr. We were all eager to see one of these machines in action and away from the unquestionably impressive test track on which Liebherr puts these trucks through their paces. And then COVID hit. And like so much of the world, further development and sales of the new TA230 went into an enforced stasis. However, the first of these machines has now arrived here in the UK, and I'm delighted to say we were among the first to see it. And now, you're about to be among the first to see it too. Here we go. This is the Liebherr TA230 articulated dump truck. <laughs> Many thanks indeed to uh, Gwyn Stevenson and Michael Atkinson of Leap Air Great Britain for giving us an opportunity to see this awesome new truck in action. Um, the team over at Diggers and Dozers will be producing a full feature-length video on that stunning new truck. And if you like Leap Air, and let's be honest, who doesn't, uh, then you might want to tune in tomorrow when we will be offering you the chance to win some Leap Air goodies. I don't want to give too much away, but... Uh, so yeah, tune in tomorrow and I'll tell you more when you arrive. The Miller GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology. 
increasing job site safety, machine versatility, and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. Cabelco has unveiled the next generation SK50 SRX-7 and SK58 SRX-7 mini excavators that follow Cabelco's Performance X design concept for enhanced design and operator comfort according to the press release. Uh, like all Cabelco short radius SR machines, the SK50 and SK58 SRX-7 feature a compact tail swing for operation in restricted spaces. However, a larger boom and arm are provided as standard equipment for a wider working range. An integrated flow pump system enables operators to harness extra output from the third pump. This additional output is directed to the arm and boom for added power when digging, resulting in a fast and smooth um, raising operation, even with heavy loads. Uh, bizarrely, the press release um, announcing the launch of these two mach new machines failed to mention their operating weight. However, I am knowledge about all things Cabelco. That's a lie. I searched Google. I can tell you that they both operate in the five ton operating weight class. And speaking of excavators, um, on Thursday this week, the next Ritchie Brothers auction is scheduled to take place at the company's Maltby facility. As ever, there will be a huge range of uh, a huge array rather of equipment up for sale, but excavators will be very much to the fore. Um, and if you if I can press the right button now, I should be able to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hi, it's Rupert at Ritchie Brothers. I'm standing here in the Maltby yard with this fantastic ZX85 Hitachi eight ton excavator. We've got a really good lineup of excavators in the next auction, and particularly the zero tail swing, road liner pads, full setup, perfect for the UK market at the moment. We've seen that eight ton bracket being very popular right the way through the year, getting some very strong prices and a real lack of availability. It's brilliant to have. I think we've got a set of nine of these, all exactly the same age, low hours, very good condition, straight out of a rental company, ready for sale on Thursday, the 15th of July. So very good machines, low houred, the right age and in super condition, as you can see. Uh, if you look very closely, uh, I have actually posted a link um, to the Ritchie Brothers auction in the chat, um, but obviously you can go search for Ritchie Brothers yourself because I know you're all extremely capable of doing so. Another day, another blast. Now, if that isn't already the motto of Controlled Demolition Inc., then it certainly should be. The company is a serial blaster, and that's serial with an S, obviously, uh, and it seems they're only ever a few hours from their next explosive spectacular. The latest one took place at the Birchwood plant, uh, power plant rather, in Virginia, where the company successfully dropped a 121 meter tall stack. Let's take a look.
they have it controlled demolition ink masters of the blasters art sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses but if you're enjoying this video please hit the like button as it helps our channel or better still share this video with a friend or a colleague thank you right back to beardy so that's it that was our 99th show and tomorrow marks a brave new beginning uh, we've got a new look and a new, fo new format and i really can't wait to share it with you but before we draw a veil over the original and quite possibly best breakfast show here's a very quick trip down memory lane The t-shirts change daily, the glasses have changed once or twice, and the beard has come and gone, and it's likely to do so again in the future. Uh, but I'd like to think that each of our, our shows, our 99 shows, have been fractionally better than the one before. Um, that trend will almost certainly continue after the big switch over. So if you can be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. as the new sh show format lands, we'd love to share it with you. Um, it's a, a dish we've been working on for, um, some weeks now uh, and i can't wait to share that that um, sumptuous repast with you at some point tomorrow uh, for now unless there's any other business i would declare this episode and this format of the breakfast show well and truly adjourned i'll be back here tomorrow either basking in the glory of the new show show format or desperately trying to figure out how it all works again uh, but until then have a great day Stay safe, look after yourself, your family, your friends and your colleagues, and I will see you again uh, on the morrow. I'll hit the outro, and as ever, I will then hop over to the chat to see what everyone's got to say for themselves. Thanks for watching.